Well, you've probably heard that in many parts of the world, the common honeybee is dying in huge numbers. To save those bees and help stop their deaths from affecting the multi-billion dollar agriculture industry, the world is looking to a place you'll find only in Canada. We're taking you to Newfoundland and Labrador, where bees are thriving. Vicodopia explains why. This is the place to be if you're a beekeeper. The air here is sweet with the scent of honey. That's about as good as it gets for honey. These beehives are as productive as ever, but that's not the case in the rest of Canada, where bees died at an alarming rate this past winter. As everybody knows, bees are vital to, the, uh, to our food supply. And when you hear of beekeepers losing 30%, 50%, some even 90% of the hives, uh, it's very disturbing. The high bee mortality is blamed on the spread of mites that feed on honeybees. There's also growing evidence certain insecticides used on commercial crops could also be responsible. Commercial farming is relatively limited here, so Newfoundland remains a honeybee bastion. Being in Ireland, we don't have the pests and diseases that uh, the beekeepers have with the bees on the mainland. Our bees, therefore, have, are not fed any drugs no medications whatsoever and they are for the most part eating and foraging off uh, wildflowers. The honeybees in Newfoundland and Labrador are doing phenomenal. The province is carefully monitoring Newfoundland's bees for mites. So far nothing. There's also a ban on importing any honeybees from outside Newfoundland. The restriction appears to be working, at least for now. And that's it for now, fingers crossed. I always say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I'm always prepared for the phone call that says we found it. But right now, because of the diligence of the beekeepers in this province, we have been able to avoid that. Yeah. While Newfoundland's honey industry is small, Head says the province could have a role in the long-term survival of the beleaguered bee. We've actually got the eye of a lot of uh, different jurisdictions around the world. They're very intrigued at the disease status we have here in this province. Head says there could be a day when Newfoundland supplies the world with healthy and happy honeybees. Vicodopia, CBC News, St. John's. If you have an idea for Only in Canada, we want to hear from you. Just go to our webpage, cbcnews.ca slash onlyincanada, to send us your ideas, photos, and videos.